always, it all comes together. These are the times when you feel invincible. When there's nothing standing between you and being queen of the universe. But it never lasts long. Because Mother Nature's always there to cut you down to size. Yep. She just loves to remind you that you're not even queen of your own street. Let alone the universe. Are you all right? I'm trying to find it, Ola. I'll get help. No, no, don't. I'm just lightheaded. I missed lunch. Give us your hand. Let me carry your board at least. Bit overdressed for the beach, aren't you? Oh, no, I hate sand. I hate the feel of it. Should be grass, you know. Oh, you really were hungry. You can just put the board down there. Are you sure you're going to be OK? I feel much better already. Thanks for your help. Oh, you wouldn't know where I could find the Solar Blue Surf Academy, would you? Matt, there's someone here to see you. Hey, rat face, where's the party? Smart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody, meet my cousin Smarts. I mean, Alec. This is Beck, hey. Fly, and Get Perry. Up. Oh, yeah, we met at the beach. <laughs> Cute dog. Uh, who knows? What? That's his name, as in who knows what, what kind of mud it is. Oh, what's that smell? Who knows? knows? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Alec, this is Jilly, the keeper of the house. And what a tidy house it is, Jilly. Oh, thank you. Alex, my cousin, he's from Tassie. Oh, look, let me help you with those. There you go. Uh, so what brings you here? Oh, I was heading up to Brisbane and the Utes started playing up, so I had to jump off the highway for repairs, and I realised how close I was to old rat features. <laughs> So I'd better check him up and pay him a visit, make sure he's behaving himself. What's in Brisbane? Oh, the National Motocross titles. Smarts is a legend on the trail bike. Really? So how long are you here for? Oh, well, it depends on how long it takes to fix the ute. Well, where are you staying tonight? Well, I hadn't really thought about that yet. I'll probably just sleep in the ute. Are you kidding? You should stay here. Yeah, that'll, that'll be cool. Come on, Julie, he's my cousin. All right, one night. But that dog, outside. Oh, yeah, no problemo. <laughs> you ride? A surfboard, not a bike. Yeah, well, I won't hold that against you. I've always wanted to try motocross. My dad wouldn't let me, though. It's too dangerous. Oh, no, nah, not if you know what you're doing. Hey, there's a track nearby. Maybe if there's time, I'll take you for a spin. Maybe I'd like that. Come on, guys. Hey, about what happened at the beach? No one here needs to know about it, okay? Hmm. Hey, we're heading down for a training session. You want to come? Go for a body bash afterwards? Nah, I reckon I'll pass. One day, I'm going to get you in that surf if I have to drag you. Has anybody seen the hamburger? Mince, what are you doing? That's for dinner tonight. I can't use that. Now, Jill, I don't want you to worry. I'll sort dinner. <laughs> Promise, it's the, um, it's the least I can do. It's Jilly. One, and two, and three, and that's it, come on! See you, mate, did I want to come down? Nah, no, Smarts hates the surf. Yeah, yeah that'd be and right. Two. I think he hates soap and too, doesn't he? Three. Look, guys, I know he's a bit rough around the edges, but he's got a heart of gold. And a dog that stinks like a latrine. If you want to win heats, this is where it starts. Come on, Perry, pull your weight. I need a rest. Well, you can have all the rest of your life when the training session is over. Hey. What do you think I you're just doing? don't feel like it, okay? Since when did Perry have a problem with doing stomach crunches? Don't despair, kid. It's not that bad. Karen? The three C's, kiddo. K 
Courage, commitment, and class. You've got all three in spades. I don't think I have. I have a lot of faith in you, Perry. Isn't talking to yourself meant to be the first sign of madness? You stuff a spilling on my side of the shelf again. Bull. Your stereo, your videos, and they're your books. It's not your side, it's neutral. See, there's an imaginary zone which separates the two sides of the shelf. You know, like Switzerland, neutral. How come your gear is in that territory then? Well, Swiss invited me. Oh, come on, Perry, lighten up. Leave me alone, okay? Alec? Yeah, Jill? I'd like you to wear these gloves when you cook. Um, yeah, no problem. What are you making? Pasta Blanco. Don't worry, Jill, he knows what he's doing. Hope so. Okay, I'm going to uni. I'll see you in the morning. See ya. See ya. Good boy. My mates knew that I was hanging out with a bunch of wax heads. I'd never live it down. Your mates being petrol heads? Well, they just don't get the surf scene. I mean, I can dig that there's a little bit of skill involved. A little bit? Well, compared to riding a bike. Oh, which is more skillful? Exactly. <laughs> well, if you can cook as well as you can ride, you must be one hell of a trail bike rider. It's more there if you want it, mate. Oh, thanks, mate, but I think I've had about as much as I can take. Right here. Boy. Um, I'll go to bed. Yeah, me too. Same. Ditto. Yeah. Catch you later. Oh, that would be right. Leave us with the washing out. Alec, you've got to learn to quit while you're behind. We're sleeping on the lounge. What, just because of smarts? His dog stinks. If he wasn't your cousin, I'd kick him out of the house. All right, what do you want me to bike? Wherever you like. Thanks for making space for us, fellas. Whew. Look, smart. Shouldn't he be sleeping outside? No, he's scared of the dark. Of course he is. <laughs> Alec, we gotta talk. Great to see you, mate. You're like a brother to me, you know that? Yeah, same. Remember that day I caught the 15 kilo jewfish on the beach? It was me that caught the jewfish. I baited the hook. I landed it? Yeah, we wouldn't have landed it if I hadn't have baited the hook first. Stands to reason, it was a monster. Wasn't it just? Tasted pretty good too. Better than Pastor Blanco, eh? Hey? Best day in my life. Same. Yeah, what do you want to talk to me about? Oh, look, don't worry about it. Please don't do this. Come on, it's Perry. Please be okay. Matt, she's in there with the doctors. What happened? I don't know. She she got off the bike and she just collapsed into a heap. Fell asleep right in the dirt. Hi, I'm Deb Callum and this is Craig Simmons. I'm Perry's legal guardian. How is she? She's unconscious but stable. Uh, we ran some tests. Her blood sugars are at dangerously high levels. But she's going to be okay. 
Well, we've got her on IV insulin. Uh, as soon as that kicks in, her blood sugars will come down and she should regain consciousness. But the diabetes will require ongoing medical attention. Diabetes. Perry's mother, she was diagnosed with diabetes six months ago. Well, why weren't we told? She kept it from us. She must have lied on her application form. She's awake. Hey, kiddo. Gave us a bit of a scare. How are you feeling? I'm a bit spaced. You're gonna be okay. Perry, do you understand what happened? I went hyperglycemic, didn't I? Why didn't you tell us that you had diabetes? Because I thought I was better. I was on medication for a while, but the symptoms went, so... I've been fine for the last six months. The doctors want to put you back on insulin injections. Perry, did you hear me? Yeah. I'll be jabbing needles into myself for the rest of my life. Why would she hide it? Well, it's quite common for young people to think they're in some sort of remission, but it's not that kind of disease. It's a lifetime condition with varying degrees of seriousness. And some can get by with diet alone, others are insulin dependent. And what's the long-term prognosis? Well, with regular exercise, diet and insulin, she can expect to lead a relatively normal life. What if she just ignores it like she has done for the last six months? then she'll become a very sick girl. It could be fatal. I'll be recommending constant adult medical supervision. I'll have to attend to that. Excuse me. Thanks, Tom. Poor kid. There's no way Perry can stay at the academy. I mean, there's the issue of insurance for a start. Where are you going? Visiting our start at the hospital soon. I'm gonna go see Perry. We'll come with you! Guys! Hospital! Mitch. Good boy. It's not a sport. It's a recipe for misery. What do you reckon, boy? Hey, how are you doing? Are they treating you well? The nurses are great, but I prefer to be back with you guys. Gilly made you some soup. I'll go and find a microwave to heat it up. Got you some reading. Ed, you didn't have to buy me a present. I didn't. Well, they're just old ones. It's no big deal. All right, quiz time. What do Halle Berry, Elvis, Johnny Cash and Mikhail Gorbachev have in common? They all have diabetes. Is that a joke? I think what Matt is making a complete hash of trying to say is that you'll be back surfing with us in no time. It doesn't matter anyway. They're kicking me out. What? Who's kicking you out? It's a question of insurance. Soul Blue won't cover a diabetic, so they're getting rid of me. What's this? Is it true about Perry? They can't do this, it's not fair. How much money is needed to cover the insurance so she can stay? Guys, it's not as simple as that. We're gonna raise the money. The school holidays are coming up. We're going to offer surfing lessons. It's a nice gesture. But I'm afraid it's not just about insurance, okay? It's about our ability to provide the level of care that Perry is going to need. We can't do it. I'm sorry. I don't want this any more than you do. Oh, who knows? Stop. Who knows? Let go! Stop it! Uh, let go! Oh, you stupid mongrel! Hey, rats! You gotta watch how you speak to him. You'll scar him psychologically. He's just destroyed my wetsuit. It's fixable. Just need a needle and thread. No problem, mate. 
That's it. I've had it up to here with you and your no problemos. Since you got here, all you've done is cause big problemos. You break things, you insult my friends, you're a walking disaster. Guess we better get going then, eh? Getting people offside. Don't mean to do wrong, it's just how things turn out. Good luck in Brisbane. Thanks. Thanks, mate. I promise it's just one night. I'll have it fixed tomorrow for sure. It's okay. I'm sorry if I've stuffed things up with your friends. You should have told me to pull my stupid, ugly head in. Yeah, well, I tried. And you're not stupid, you're just ugly. Well, you can talk. Well, anyway, I should be the one apologising. I was just stressed about Perry. You like her, don't you? Yeah, she's a good surfer. Yeah, she's a good surfer. Rats is in love. Shut up. Hey, you're back. I've just come to get my stuff. I'm leaving. Pretty girl, hide to rise. Perry Law, one word. Starts with C and ends with omitment. It's got nothing to do with my commitment. Decisions being made for me. Nobody said you had to give up without a fight. I'm sorry, Karen. I need to clear my room. Fair. Who am I going to have territory wars with now? Well, look at the bright side. You get to have Switzerland and the whole western side of the shelves to yourself now. Where's the fun in that? Like. I thought you were going to the Gold Coast. You'd be able to serve Kira every day of the week. Uh-uh. I'm getting picked up at the Gold Coast. And I'm going to Roma. Roma? Where the hell's that? It's about 500 kilometers west from the ocean. Right. May as well sell my surfboards for all the use they'll be getting. I'm gonna miss this place. Yeah, well, I still don't see why she has to go. I told you, mate, she has to be cared for by mum and dad. <laughs> and what are they gonna do that can't be done here? That's a good question. Julie, have you got a minute? I need to ask you something. Anything to avoid this assignment. It's about Perry. Matt, I'm sorry. I really am. I wish that the situation could be different, but there's nothing I can do. Julie's already agreed to help out with the medical stuff and the diet. She'll get better care at home. I'm sorry, Matt. It's just, it's not going to happen. I need to get on with this. What kind of a message would Solar Blue be sending by dumping a talented young surfer just because she's got diabetes? Matt, we're hardly dumping her. That's what it'll look like in the press. This could be a win-win situation for Perry, for the Academy, for all the kids out there who have got diabetes who'd get a kick if Perry went on to win the world title. The message would be, don't give up. I would have thought that'd be pretty good PR for Solar Blue. We've got to find Perry. Come on, mate. Car's still stuffed.
Solar Blue have agreed to let you stay. Julie's gonna help out with all the medical stuff. I spoke to Deb and she sorted it with your parents. They're cool. Come on, let's get your bags, we'll go. What's the point? I'm still sick. I'll never have a chance of winning wildcard. Pete Nolan. What? Great surfer, he got cancer in his knee. Don't. They had to amputate his leg. He had an excuse to stop surfing, but he didn't. Stop it. All the experts said he'd never surf again. He ignored them, and a few months later, he was carving it up. You're holding up the bus. Diabetes can't oh, stop you surfing, you Perry. Not if you really want it. I saw, I saw something. Come on, son. I don't know what's going on here. I want you off my bus now. I guess I read it wrong, then. Good luck, Perry. Well? She's not coming. not the butt. Tell me it is then. Okay. How's that? I'll get used to it. Come on, Alex. Time to show us how easy this surfing thing is. Didn't take you for a wuss. I've nothing to prove. Nah. You're not getting away with it that easily. Come on, guys, 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 I just wanted to thank you for looking out for me. That's what friends do, isn't it? Just friends, hey? Well, yeah, I mean, 